In the midst of this coronavirus, I want to remind you all that the God of the Bible is still in control. We can take comfort in this time of uncertainty. Um, we should not question the goodness of our God in this time. For those of us who have been laid off, it's a great opportunity for us to um, seek to know our God and to seek to serve Him and to spend some uh, serious quiet time with Him as our Creator. I would challenge everyone to turn off your devices for a while and put away the distractions that we daily have when we work and seek to know the riches of the wisdom of God and to seek to know Him and to serve Him. And to worship the Son of Man, which is Jesus Christ, who secured an inheritance for us in the kingdom of His Father, and has ascended into glory, and there reigns with all things subjected to Him by the Father. The righteous Son of God is seated at the Father's right hand. His propitiatory work is completed, and He now intercedes for us as our great High Priest. This is all in the ancient of days, our Father's plan. <clears throat> he is sovereign over this time. Our earthly desires and treasures may be melting away before our very eyes. Um, the sports and entertainment of this temporary life have been shut down and banned to prevent the, the spreading of this virus. But is it possible that our holy God could be jealous for our time and could really desire that we would be spending it with Him and therefore is taking away from us what removed us from Him? If this is the case, praise His name. He loves us so much. He's so good to us. He's given us time to serve Him and to know Him now. Romans 8, 31 through 39 uh, in the ESV. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare His own Son but gave him up for us all. How will he not also with him graciously give us all things? He also bring any charge against God's elect. It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died, more than that who was raised. Who is at the right hand of God? Who indeed is interceding for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, danger, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We are regarded as, sleep to, as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. As an update for myself and my family, um, we are all doing well. And um, fortunately for us, we do outdoor work. So we have not been extremely 
affected by this whole virus, but it has slowed the amount of work that we've been able to do. Um, so we continue to do tree service on a smaller scale, doing only jobs that there's a tree hanging over a house or over electric, and um, that's more of an emergency job that we can take care of. Um, we've also been doing things around the property. Um, I've been helping my brother put put up his greenhouse because he's going to be planting soon because it's it's planting season. You know, we had a really light winter this year, and so we're going to be planting here very soon. We're actually behind, but uh, we've been very thankful for that. Um, so yeah, we're starting a greenhouse to uh, start growing our vegetables. Most everything here in Pennsylvania is shut down. Uh, anything that is regarded non-essential is shut down right now. Um, so we have the same run for toilet paper as everybody else does. Fortunately, our family, um, my parents taught us to, you know, keep ahead on the things that we're going to need. So we're doing okay right now. We have meat in the freezer from hunting season, and uh, we grow our own cattle. So we're doing all right right now. So we're very thankful for that. Um, Addie and her family are doing well also. Uh, Addie's school has been shut down, and um, so they actually had Addie go in and get her schoolwork, uh, and so she's going to be teaching herself at home. Um, she's also, in her time, she's been babysitting and helping her dad with demo uh, construction jobs, and so she's working hard there as well. Um, Alaska has had pretty much the same result as the rest of the United States. Um, Fairbanks, Alaska, right now, they have a stay-at-home order, so everybody's staying at home. The uh, school that I substitute taught for, Far North Christian School, um, they have sent their students home with their homework so that they can keep going on their school, although they're not at the building itself. So they're still going with that. Um, many of my friends up there have been laid off from their work or uh, their work has considerably slowed, especially for some of the uh, construction workers who are self-employed, their work has, has slowed considerably. Um, at this point, I'm still headed to Alaska at the end of this May, and I'm looking forward to that. I miss the people up there, and I'm really excited to be headed back up there to be supporting the missionaries that are out in the village. Um, you know, there's many villages in Alaska that are completely dependent on aircraft for their support. And that's that's the work that I do. I, I work on aircraft and do aircraft maintenance and do some logistical support as well. And so I'm looking forward to getting back out there and doing that. I am looking for a good property to build a small cabin on. Uh, Addie and I are planning to build a small cabin uh, this summer and we'll be living in that. It'll be um, without a well for, th for the beginning and so it's going to be a dry cabin. And so there are some challenges with that but this is something that we're very willing to do and we're both excited about. So we're looking for a property for that. So um, that is something that you guys could uh, keep in prayer actually that you'd be praying that a good property would be available for us to build our small cabin on. Uh, we do know that God will provide what we need um, so we're trusting him for that but we would also desire your prayers as well. Um, currently I still am in the process of raising support. I had uh, two speaking arrangements this past month that fell through and um, I know that God has a plan through this and I just have to trust him with this but it was very disappointing at the time um, and you know as the effect of this virus things have slowed down significantly for me um, as it is uh, at the end of my internship with SEND which is going to be in November uh, I still I'm looking to continue doing missionary support work up there long term and if that's the case I need to still raise another $1,400 a month 
um, and recurring giving. So that's either yearly giving or monthly giving that I need to raise that money through. And so I would appreciate your prayers with that, as well as uh, raising the rest of the money that I need to build, uh, to s sustain and build the cabin that Addie and I are planning. Um, so, Addie will be, uh, after we get married, Addie will be coming up and will be aiding me in my work. Um, and she will also be looking for opportunities to use her gifts with children and also with um, our elders to serve them and to be a support to them in the Lord. So I would also ask prayer that Addie and I would be spiritually prepared for the task that is ahead. Um, there's much ahead of us and we're both young but we both desire to serve the Lord in this way. So I would definitely uh, ask that you would pray for us and lift us up to the Lord uh, regularly. Pray also that through this virus, God would be glorified and that he would be served and that he'd be worshiped and that he would also sustain his people in their health and also provide for them in their physical needs. Um, as many of us here in the United States right now, um, many people have lost their jobs or are not able to work. So pray that God would provide for them and also sustain them in their health. 